So in this video, we're going to go over how to get started with the Android emulator on, or how to run apps on your actual device. The first thing you want to do is open up a new browser tab. So I'm going to open up a tab and uh, Google whatever your phone version is. So in my case, I have a OnePlus and I want to Google enable developer mode. So you're going to take your phone version and click on enable developer mode. In my case, I click on this first link right here. They're all going to be very similar, but they'll be a little different. So it's important that you Google your particular phone. And to, so the first thing you need to do is go to settings and scroll to the bottom and click on about phone. So in my case, I would go to settings, settings, scroll down to the very bottom. I'm already scrolled to the very bottom of settings and click on about phone. You'll notice that I have this developer options list item here. This isn't going to show up for you until you enable developer mode. So don't panic if you don't see that. You want to click on about phone and if you follow the instructions here I'm supposed to look for build number and tap it until it says that I'm a developer so I would just scroll down build number and you keep tapping that until it says you're a developer but since I'm already a developer it's, it'll tell me that I'm already a developer but yours will, will say something like this you are three steps away from being a developer you are two steps away from being a developer etc once that's enabled you can go back and the developer options list item will now be available to you so in my case, I want to click on here, and if I'm continuing to follow the instructions here, I want to enable OEM unlocking and enable USB debugging, and that should be it. So I, I've already got OEM unlocking, and I've got uh, USB debugging enabled, so I'm good to go. Then we can get out of developer options, we can go to Android Studio, and if we press the play button after we plug in our phone to our computer, we can see that my phone shows up in connected devices. So that will actually run the apps on your phone and you can just, you know, hold your phone in your hand and look at it and play the app. But if you want your phone screen to get mirrored, um, just like I have right here, this is actually just a Chrome add on. So if you go to uh, the Google Chrome uh, web store, just click on the web store right here. You want to download an app called visor. This is what's going to allow you to display your phone screen on your computer. So you just launch visor and you can see that my one plus one, is showing up here so I would click that and then it would open up this window mirroring my phone screen and that's it you should be able to run apps on your phone and also use visor to show the apps on your computer in the next video we are actually gonna get started with the course and start writing some code so I'll see you guys in the next video